Oh yeah. Shauno's on the bottom, 350 meters. Is that nibs already? That's yeah, bite. Fish on. That's that's a fish. Oh, truth. Fish on. It's instant. Oh yeah. Yes, sure no. I'm just about to go to the bottom as well. Yeah, for sure. I'm on the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh here we go. That was cool. There we go. Yeah, I reckon so. Yep. Boys are on. The boys are on in 350. Look at that, 350 meters. And we're double hooked up. Double bend. Probably a good way to start the episode. Welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure and welcome to part two of the Fraser Island adventure trip. We're on Shawno's boat, Mojo. We got Mark on the sticks. And we are having a ball, aren't we? We are, we are. We found a good little mark in about 350, so I want to have a quick drop, put the lures away for a second, and it was an instant double hookup. So, fingers crossed, they're really cool fish. Fingers crossed indeed. Now, obviously this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch it. I don't know what it's called, because I haven't posted it yet, but it's it would have been up before this, and we had a cracking day, so we're hoping we can replicate it and build on it from there. But uh, look, if this is anything to go by, it's still very early in the morning. It's going to be a great day. Thanks very much for joining us. Hope you enjoy this one and uh, yeah, hopefully we see these fish pretty soon. Have a go there. How far off are you? 130. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 218. Yeah, they're the, yeah, the pace. Mate, yours is meant for just bringing everything up. Oh, look out. Sean, I'm getting impatient. It's gonna be a big bubble, eh? I hope this so. Is, this, is, this is real like bomb life, I think. Oh, I'm just hoping they're not sharks. Yeah, it could just be two green eyes or three green eyes. Righto. We got 35 on mine and 29 on Shawno's. We're looking for bubbles. Anything that's not green eyed. Let's start this one with a. Uh... Yeah, is, that, is yours cut starting to angle? There's a fish there. More, I can see mine. What is it? It looks silver? Mine's red. Mine's red. You've got multiples. You've got big boy. Oh, wow. You've got big boy. Holy Sean, oh, you've got multiples. That's oh, a... and a red one. Oh! <laughs> What the actual? Is that a snapper as well? Oh my! That's a trifecta. That, that's oh my goodness me! Let's what, get these in. What is happening? What is right happening? Right, so big flamey barcod and a snapper, and I've gone the flame, just a single flamey. I'm not greedy. Oh my goodness! This. Oh my goodness me! This is as. Is that a flamey or a rosy? That's a flamey. That's a big flame. <laughs> what's, the, what's the bottom one? That's, That's a snapper. A big snapper, though, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Big boy cord. I think that's an up, upsize on your PB uh, flame too. It is. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Three hooks, three fish. Tell me where did you go to the 
<laughs> nah, mate, I'm all in. That's it's, a good sort of snapper it's too. It's a cracking snapper. <laughs> Oh, yes. Sean, I do a three-way lift-up. <laughs> no, seriously, do it. <laughs> oh. That is the loosest thing I've ever seen on deep cropping. Ever. I've never seen any like that. That's epic. Like, I've just caught enough fish for a month or two in one drop. That is how you start the day. Unfortunately, I only did get the one, but that's okay. I'm not under, I'm not uh, disappointed. Unfortunately, it's, it's full. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that for one drop. I'll just get out of that. That's Can you it. remove your snapper from that flame if you want? Is that even size, Sammy? Is that oh, that stop it. I, I can't even get my hand around here. That's a big flame. That is a big flame. Huge flame. Hold him up. Hold him up. Come on. First drift. Marcus goes, you know what, we'll just have a bit of a test drip, a drop. And um, I said, oh, we might as well just chuck him out, yeah? And he goes, yeah, yeah. Straight on the mark that we marked, and that's the result. That's a cracking flame. Yeah. Look at that. Have a go at that. That is flames out. Yeah, the boys. That's a good looking fish box. There's some big boy fillets in there. Well, look at this. Sean is so, so happy with his first drop that he's just, he's done. We are actually running out of room in the esky, which is always a good sign of a, uh, of a successful trip. I, because my flamey was substandard, I'm having another go but we are on some ground that looks insane in the membrane. On the bottom. Well guys, unfortunately, a bit of the one drift wonders we were. We got those flamies, well, Sean, I got a full string, I got another flamey. After that, a few more half-hearted bites and uh, not much else. Nothing else came to the surface, that's for sure. So uh, we gave it a few more drifts, nothing happened. We've got the big lures back out. Uh, see if we can't tempt another big blue marlin. We're, uh, we're overdue. We put a couple of hours in this morning and we didn't raise a fish. We're marking a few, but we uh, haven't managed to coax one up. So we think we're due. We'll give it a few, few hours and uh, see what we can turn up. We'll keep it posted. Well guys, turns out blue marlin are mythical creatures that do not exist. Although we did mark a heap of fish, they uh, were all sitting about 50 metres and none of them came up to uh, taste one of our lures. So we gave that a probably about four or four hour crack for nothing. So we're going to have a bit of a pearly jig. But Sean O's on the wheel this time. Give us a wave, Sean. Hello, mate. Hello. And, uh, We've got Mark on the jigging setup. Now Mark's never jigged and he's never caught a pearly, so we're gonna get him one right now. He's got my uh, 2000 Oshia jigger set up. I've got the 4000 Whale Club. Um, yeah, should be a bit of fun. Bit of current on, so we've got 4, uh, 400 gram jigs on. Get down fast, catch fish fast. Him. You're on. Yeah. Right. Well, we're on. I don't know what this is. Got a bit of weight there. Yeah. 
It's a goodie. Is it? Yeah. There's a nice pearl. Oh, that's a trooper. Um. That's a real one. That is really. Might have to grab a little photo. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice pearly. Big Fraser pearly on a 400 gram jig because that current's giving us a bit of grief. That is an absolute belter. Great fish. There's some fillets on that. You bloody ripper. Oh, there's pearlies. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. It's not big though. See if I can shake it out. Don't forget that pause at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just pause. Then turn. Look like you're on then. Yeah. There you go. You will be. Oh, have we got a new jig fisherman in town? <laughs> oh, he looks like a good one too. Oh, he's pulled it. Just give it a jig. Yeah, drop it back down. Oh, he's a goodie. Having a dig. Hey? <laughs> Having a go? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's going. That's goodie. Yeah. That wasn't worth the wind up. Little small boy. Did it just get shark, did it? Blue marlin livey. No, it might be the same fish. What have you done, Mark? No, no. <laughs> good fish. Yeah. What's that? It's a very good fish, I think. Oh, you don't even make it to the bottom with the old uh, mustard. Yep. Oh, there's a big trace. Oh. Someone say I'm about to a half thousand kilos off. Do I get the cars on it first? If there's not dollies here, we're wasting our time and picking off selling the road. That is bring the main off sort of stuff. Oh that's a snapper on a jig. That's a snapper. <laughs> Why not? There you go guys, on the drop. Come all the way to Fraser to catch more snapper on jigs. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the one. There you go. Who'd have thought? In 230 meters. 
just saw a dolly. There's Where? a dolly there. Where? Passed out to the left. It's going along. This there? Yes, yes, yes. There it is. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's micro. <laughs> nah, there's a bigger one. I'm there's sure. Bigger one. There's definitely bigger. a bigger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a baby. Good dolly. Here he comes. I'm sure, the first one I saw was bigger. Yeah, it definitely was, man. I saw, yeah. saw the same one. Just yeah. race. That was, that was a good one. Oh no, he, he just hit it. Yeah, he did. What's it? What's it? There's one dolly, like what? Yeah, what's, where'd one dolly come from? He's probably a day and a half old. How is there not more life on that? I don't know. That's an ecosystem. Hey? Yeah, but I'm not happy with it. Up. Lost it? No, no, I just want it up a bit quicker because it's a smallie. Did you give us a look, your first pearly on a jig. <laughs> Mate, are you sold? Oh, I couldn't be, couldn't be. Uh, look at no, that, beautiful. <laughs> nah, it's good. What are you, mate? It's better than a blue marlin any day, oh, I heard. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, I don't know about yeah, that. I don't know about that. I would rather be doing it. Well, guys, this is a little thing we like to call cheating. We're on the, uh, that pearly mark still. But we don't have a lot of time left in our trip. We want to try and catch a marlin. So the electrics are coming out and we're just going to fast track this whole process. One at a time on a jig is fun. Six at a time or with two electrics, 12 at a time. <laughs> That's also pretty fun. It's a quick, while we're here, we might as well get a pearly. We'll just get a couple of pearlies for the table, yeah? I think so. 12 will do. And then Catch a marlin, what a day. What a day. Here we go, it's been a pretty good day. Oh, it's been a pretty good trip all around. Here we go, ladies and gents, I'm at 210 metres. Oh, I'm on. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm on. Yep. Yeah, I'm on. There's some on. I don't know how many. But I'm going to leave it down there. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to actually drop it down, see if I can get it right to the bottom. And just load up. The aim of the game here is many fish. So we, we've definitely got some on there. Yeah, we got fish on. We got fish on. Sean, I how many fish have you got on? Um, you coming up? Oh, there we go. There's a good one. That's him. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, it's losing. No, no, he's still there. Oh, yeah. Up you come. Oh.
that's a good fish. There's a real good one on there. I hope I just have one fish on. Oh! That's violent! Did you, mate? I might be. I'm hoping it's real big pearl. He's kind of not doing much now, though. It's what we like to see. Double bends. <laughs> Two rods. This is a bit easier than jigging. It is a little bit. It's going to be a late. We've got to cross that bar before the sun goes out. And we've got to refuel as well on the go. So. And we've got to get a couple of fillers to take home. Yeah, I'm Marlin. <laughs> well, Look at a busy arvo. A bit on. <laughs> Look at this. There's one. No, that's a big pearl, man. Look at the size of that for a pearl. Woo! That's a real one. <laughs> Oh, yeah! You got a live bait one. Oh, a little snapper. <laughs> is that the biggest one you've ever seen? Oh, it's getting up there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is a Fraser Island Pearl Perch. Have a go at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is big. What do you got there, Sean? I can see a bit of colour, mate. I don't think any so big, but that is huge. That's a big pearly. Oh, Believe it or not, I did get a pearly as well, though. You got a couple of them. They're all little. Oh, no. Oh! No, 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 in the boat. Like, all under size. All under? You couldn't keep one of those fish. No! Yeah, I think this one more drop will do it. Do you want to get right up on top of Sean's and I'll deploy mine? Just so we're both kind of in the vicinity. Oh, stole the reel hard. Oh, Sean, I just got to the bottom. Have a go at that. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. That's a better one, Sean. Losing line. Losing line? No, is that kinfish? Oh, no. There is a line up the top, 170 on, so. I got a big amber jack on. Nah. Is it? Oh, yeah. Right. Could be a cod. Oh, was it? Oh, is it on the way down? Feeling. I'm just about to get to the bottom. More purdies for me. It's just a ruby. Bites. Biting. Fish. Or, or have fish, but I don't feel like they're the. They're not the ones. Got him. Got him. Still got him? Nope, just dropped him. Yeah. He just went tonk. Bugger all, I think. Only little boys. But it won't sink. Ugh. 30 meters. 
So Shauno's hooked the plug. <laughs> Something big. We don't know what, yeah. I think I've just got a heap of small pearlies. They're not doing anything too crazy. Sean I we think, has hooked some sort of pelagic. It has not stopped fighting the whole time. I'm guessing kingfish or amberjack. Maybe an amberjack. We haven't seen an amberjack this trip. This place is famous for them. I don't oh. believe I've ever seen one yet. Caught hard from 200. Yeah. Aren't you glad you're cheating? But the reel is actually nearly very toasty. Oh, warm up the pie on there. Oh, no. Hold up for a sec. I don't think so. Well, maybe. There's a big bit of what? Maybe it's just a mammoth cod. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, you're big pearlies, bro. All right, let's hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, there's a bit of going on there. There's a lot going in there. You've got some big fish. Oh, there's a pearly, eh? That's a big pearly, man. They're all big pearlies. Oh. We're gonna have to cut yours. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my goodness. Holy Sean, God. look at that. Oh my goodness. I thought that was a king, eh? They're all big pearlies. They're all big pearlies. How do I get this in the boat? I don't even know. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my god. Wow, wow. Okay, we're still on the reel the whole way through. I thought it had to be a kingy. I think I've done the biggest bimity twist with Sammy's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going to have to... Hey? Do you have anything in? Uh, no, 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 mine's way out. I'm still... I'm going to cut mine in. I'm 100... Oh, yeah, right. We're going to have to cut our way out of this. That's a, a monster pack of pearlies. That's insane in the membrane. Here I am, like this is a proper 20 kilo <laughs> king. That's that's four legal pearls. Just cut them, man. Yeah, I'll just take those. Ones, yeah. yeah, if you hold that, I'm just gonna I can get at it without weight, and I'll just start cutting. Yeah. Be real careful. Yeah, which one I've got here? On that one. Oh, oh! I'm an island boy! What have I got? Big. Pearly. No, that's not a pearly. Body boy. Comet cod. Comet. Oh, he's got a full squeeze on his guts. Has he? Well, guys, that was my only good fish. Cool little comet cod, but have a go at Sean's pearlies. They aren't real small. That doesn't, you've oh, only got a size small hand. Hang on, let's just, let's just check something out right quick. <coughs> oh, I reckon that one's bigger. <coughs> oh, yours is, nah, mine's bigger. It's bigger, that's bigger. Yeah, it's heaps bigger. Oh, it's not heaps. Yeah, oh, that is substantially bigger. Wow. Wow, wow, we. Yes, can you get a photo of this? Stuff and take them and them. Where's your phone? Oh, I don't know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the adventure. After Sean O's pearlies, the wind started to come up. We are 
we put the lures in for another hour or so to see if we could get that one last ditch effort at a, uh, a marlin and it was unsuccessful so we made a run for home probably a good option too because the weather did get a bit sporting but we're back at the marina safe and sound we've got a fantastic esky full of fish and some bloody great stories what a trip boys yeah, it's been absolutely unreal definitely for me, trip of a lifetime, and uh, I learned a lot this last couple of days. I've been on the water for about a week now, mind you. Actually, that's one thing you wouldn't have seen. I've just come for the cherry pick trip. I drove up, jumped on, the boys had the boat sorted. They put me on the fish, I had to wind them, which is a bit disappointing, <laughs> but... No, it's been good. Like, before you got here, Sammy, it was uh, very testing. We had mechanical issues, we had bad weather, we had a lot of di di different things that didn't quite work out, but it all sort of came together at the last moment and uh, made for a trip of a lifetime, really. Yeah, it was unreal. Mm. I'll tell you what, definitely be back up here. I remember why I used to fish Fraser, and it's because it's epic. Every time you come here, it just opens your eyes up. Mark, how'd you go, mate? <laughs> Sorry. That's all <laughs> Had right. a great time. <laughs> yeah. I was trying and to get the boat he's gone. Yeah, no, no. No, I was trying to get the battery. No, it was awesome. So it's been a very much so an adventure. So that's a Yeah, that's the main it. thing. Proper, that's a proper, proper adventure. Proper nautical adventure. Anyways, we're going to unload some fish. I'm going to hit the highway and, and get home. Uh, next time you'll see me be on the filleting table. We've got some pretty cool fish to show you. A few PBs there. I think that pearly is going to be a PB once I get it on the uh, scales and the measure. But yeah, bloody good trip all around. And we do have a little thank you to, to dish out, Sean-o. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, thanks to Bestie, a good mate of mine up here in Harvey Bay. I think just about everybody in this part of Queensland knows who Bestie is. You don't even need to introduce him more than that. <laughs> but um, without him, um, yeah, we'd probably still be at the dock. So, on you, mate. Thanks, Bestie. You're on your Bestie. Well, guys, back home safe and sound. That trip was nothing short of amazing. Obviously a huge shout out goes to Sean O. He had to drive his boat all the way up there. You can't chuck that big thing on a trailer. So he had to drive it all the way up and drive it all the way back. So massive shout out to him. But um, look, I think it was well and truly worth it. The quality of fish that we caught was absolutely exceptional. Um, big pearlies, flamies, barcod, all the cool stuff. We caught it and we spent half the time marlin fishing. So we're definitely gonna have to plan a trip back there and just focus on the bottom stuff and just see what we can turn up because I'm pretty sure it will be amazing. Have a go at this. This is my share of the catch. That big pearly there, 65 centimeters, 3.95 kilos. Some really nice size flamies, nice bar cod, comet cod, beautiful eating, green jobfish, and it's just all tasty, tasty fillets. Uh, I think I might fill it up a big pearly for you and maybe the jobfish. I haven't filled a jobfish in a long, long time, so better get stuck in. There's a bit of work to be done here. That is some prime quality fillet as well. Also a good set of wings on the old pearlies, but um, yeah, I better hop in and start this production line, get it happening, because there's a fair few fish to do here. Looking forward to chewing down on some of this stuff though. Yum. Righto guys, solid fillet up. It's time for a quick tackle talk. Now I'm gonna go through the jigging gear because I have been through my deep dropping setup quite a number of times. 2000 size Oshia Jigger Reel. This is a Wilson Venom 
Ocean Warrior Jig Rod. This is the Jig 490X model. Great for that style of fishing. Now, the jig I had my most success on was this guy here. Now, that's a 400 gram mustard rip roller. The reason I went for such a large jig was because the current was really starting to rip towards the end there. And I needed the extra weight and a slim profile to really get down quickly and get in the strike zone before I got too much belly in my line. Uh, if it backed off a little, you could have gone for the 300, but on that day, 400 was doing the job, it was getting down nice and quick. And as you saw, getting quite a few nibbles and that was the full Lumo color that I used that got, got the job done. Now, one exciting little announcement, and it does have to do with deep dropping, is I've teamed up with the legends at Leader Systems Australia and we've come together and made some deep drop rigs for you guys. Check this out. Whether you're just getting into your deep dropping or you just want some spare rigs for trips, we've got everything you need. We've got disco rigs, we've got UV rigs, everything from 12-0 all the way through to 14-0. So 12-0, perfect for your pearlies, snapper, flamies, rubies, all that sort of stuff. Your 13-0s, perfect for barcode, your big flamies, that sort of thing. The 14-0s, your blue eye, and your bass groper. So we've got everything you need, three and six hook rigs. Just remember, in Queensland, you are allowed up to six hooks on your rig. In New South Wales, you're only allowed three. So we do have three and six hooks rigs in the disco and the UV. They're the 12 o size, and they go all the way up to the mighty 14 o to really stop some sea monsters. The best thing about these are, is they're made with quality mustard. Three double nine six five D hooks. They are awesome for deep dropping. We've been using them for the last year now, have never had a problem with them. Really good quality hooks. Now guys, there is also heaps of other merch available on my website, of course, that is sammyhitskyfishing.com. We've got hats, we've got shirts, we've got stickers. We do have some cool things coming for Christmas as well, so keep your eyes peeled. If you are chasing some presents, you definitely want to get in quick because they are selling out fast. If you do want to treat yourself as well, get in there, get your stuff quickly because there's not going to be much left in a few weeks' time. Guys, that brings us to the end of the two-part Fraser series. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like or learn something from this episode, please hit that like button, leave us a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. There's new fishing action coming every single week. Guys, hope you're all catching a few fish yourselves and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers.